A blessed and pleasant good afternoon, moms and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minutes brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Rafi Muki and I are excited to be here with you on this very warm Monday afternoon. Our internet has been causing some trouble this morning. We've been trying to do this for a few minutes now to get going. Hopefully it is showing where you are and you can hear us just fine. Um, if not, then I don't know. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do. Today, we're going to talk about the story that is somewhat sad, but somewhat happy because, of course, you know, the God of the good times is also the God of the bad times, and he is the God that gives us courage to go on. Today, we're going to talk about the death of one of Jesus' friends. You remember that a few days ago, we spoke about two sisters, Mary and Martha, who Jesus went to their house to visit and that they had a brother who was called Lazarus. Mm -hmm. And you remember that Mary and Martha got into a little scuffle because one wanted to sit at Jesus's feet and one was hosting the party. Mm -hmm. Well, these ladies, their brother Lazarus had become ill and he died. And these were very good friends of Jesus. So his death made Jesus very, very sad. And it's one of the shortest Bible passages in the whole Bible. But let's listen to the story that Muki picked out for us. And then after the story, we'll talk a little bit more about that. You know what I think Rev is getting old. I think Rev confused tomorrow's story with today's story. Tomorrow we're looking at Lazarus. Today we're looking at Jesus meets a very short man by the name of Zacchaeus. Look at that. All because when Rev heard the story of Lazarus dying, she too got sad. But today, Jesus is on the way to Mary's and Martha's house, and he's been told that Lazarus is sick. But on the way to the house, he meets a very short guy, a guy probably no taller than Rev, by the name of Zacchaeus. And you heard Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Mm -hmm. And tax collectors weren't liked by people then. The same way they're not very much liked by people now. Why didn't people like them? Because sometimes the tax collectors would put extras on the tax that they could keep some for themselves. Now remember that the Jewish people were the ones who were paying taxes to the Roman people. Yes? So there were those who were the bosses and those who had to pay the taxes. And the people, they didn't get a break when it came to the tax. And Zacchaeus was a tax collector. And so the people around Jesus didn't really like Zacchaeus. And when Jesus saw Zacchaeus in the tree, Jesus said to Zacchaeus, I am coming to your house to spend time with you. And the people were shocked because the people thought that Zacchaeus was a bad man. Now, why was Zacchaeus even in the tree? Well, one, he was short and he couldn't see. But more than that, he had heard the stories about Jesus and he wanted to see for himself and get to know more about Jesus because the things he had been hearing about Jesus was touching his heart and it was causing his heart to change. And that is why Jesus went to his house. Let me tell you something, boys and girls. Sometimes people will look at us and people will not see the transformation that God is making in our lives. Why? Because they're looking with human eyes. Remember, we talked a couple of days ago that we can't look to see things through human eyes, that we have to pray that God gives us holy eyes that we could see through. 
Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, unless we look with holy eyes like God would see, we're not going to see the beauty of the thing the way God sees the beauty of the thing. People were looking at Zacchaeus with human eyes, and they weren't seeing the change in his heart that Jesus was able to see. And sometimes, boys and girls, people won't see the change in your heart. Mm -hmm. They will keep looking at you and go, oh, that one no amount to nothing, but you can't allow that to hold you back. You know why? Because as long as you have a love for God in your heart, God is going to change you. He is going to change your life. And then the big things that you do will be for the glory of God. So you can't worry about what people say. If I tell you some of the things that Muki, no, we're not going to spread Muki's stories out in the public. I got you, Muki. Your secrets are safe with me. But we have to be sure that we don't allow the negativity of people around us to cause us to not want to continue to strive to be with God. So we heard that wonderful story about the short man Zacchaeus who had a change of heart and whose house Jesus went to despite what people have to say. You see, Jesus didn't care about what people thought about him. He knew he had a job to do for God and that is what he did. And Graffy picked out a song to go with Zacchaeus, the wee little man. Let's listen to this song. And that's it. Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down. I'm coming to your house today. Why? Because Jesus knew that Zacchaeus was experiencing a change. And I'll tell you a secret, boys and girls. The Lord wants to come to your house too. Now, he might not come to your house in the form of a physical being, but he wants to come into the temple of your heart, and he wants to make a difference in your lives. I'll tell you a secret. When I was around your age, I allowed Jesus to come to my house. I allowed him to come into my heart, and my life has never been the same. And Graffy and Muki have the same experience. And it's not difficult, you know. All you have to do is show God that, like Zacchaeus, you have a desire to learn more about him, and ask God to send his Holy Spirit to be in your life, and bam, Jesus is going to come to your house too. Boys and girls, we are out of time for today. You know? Just like that, we have run out of time. But you know, we have to pray before we leave. We can't go without spending some time with God. So would you mind closing your eyes and bowing your heads so that we could pray? Excellent. Let's pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we just thank you for getting us safely through the weekend and for bringing us safely to the beginning of our week. God, we thank you that even though Rev had a little confusion in the beginning, everything worked itself out. We thank you that we could have heard the story about Zacchaeus. God, we know that sometimes our excitement to see you, other people don't share that excitement. Help us, Lord, to be like Zacchaeus. That even if we have to do things that seem strange in order to be with you and to spend time with you, that that is what we are willing to do. God, you were working a change in the heart of Zacchaeus, and we just pray, God, that you would work a change in our hearts. Father, create an eagerness, create a desire for want to spend time with you. God, know that you are welcome into the houses of our hearts. Please visit us with your presence. We know that when your presence is in our lives, you can change us. And that being changed for you, we can make a difference and make changes in the life of other people and in the world. God, we just ask that you would use our hands as your hands and our feet as your feet, that we could be a part of the spreading of your kingdom. Help us to remember that even if people tell us that as children we are too small, for us to not believe this, that you are the one who calls children to you and you are the one who says that unless you're like a little child, you're not going to make it in the kingdom of God. 
use us, God, no matter what our age is or our gender or anything else is. Use us according to your will for the glory of your kingdom. Make us eager like Zacchaeus, willing to do what we need to do to be able to see you. We just consecrate ourselves and give you thanks for this time. To the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So let me ask, how high will the tree be that you climb? Listen to me, you better not go climb any tree in your yard because I don't want you to get hurt. Do what you can in order to see the presence of God in all things. Allow his Holy Spirit to transform your heart and then go out and transform the world for the glory of the kingdom of God. We're out of time, but Graffy Mookie and I had fun spending time with you here on Children's Bible Minutes, and we look forward to seeing you same place, same time. Until then, stay home if you can, do everything you can to stay safe, and do not forget that Jesus loves you. Until next time, <laughs> bye for now.